Hello there, Jedi, Sith, or even Potatoes. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Now, I don't know what happened to my mic for my last few episodes, but hopefully this is working right now. Let's take a look around this place. This place is really nice. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Did you just react to me just entering this area? That was coincidence. Hey, come see. Not yet. I'm looking around, boy. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Where? Oh, it's you. Okay. I didn't know you were in there. Oh, a little door here. Where's the door go? Finding everything all right, I hope. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh! You should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew more. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Never mind. I didn't miss it. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Durlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Durlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Durland's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. All right. You hear That's that? So nice out here. You know, it's a void, but it's nice though. Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. The heck? What are you doing? I don't think they're a threat. Also, aren't you way out of range? <laughs> they're reacting to things. or something. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cynthia, sodding bastard! <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's it. Good. 
Now, release! Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Frostful goes, eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Need to adjust. <gasps> there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Painful, but funny. The Bifrost is broken. Now that we reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Okay, aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. Oh, this is going to be weird. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are... Moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks! Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. Everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh, Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? Wretches on the left! <laughs> I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs> Somewhere to get out there. I wasn't looking. Uh, did 
you see that over there? I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. I just guessed. Okay, I was I was thinking that was a gas. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> Think that's dirty enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. <laughs> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Oh. 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in the ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? <laughs> Think you can reach the wheel from here? I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Hmm. Think we can fit under that bridge? Looks like that's all we got for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, snap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and also make sure that bell icon's left so you're notified whenever I upload. See ya!